So I realized when I was doing my whole entire eye that I didn't hit record until I looked up and saw that it wasn't recording. So I'm going to tell you where I put all the eyeshadows. If you watch the other two videos, it's going to make complete sense. But I went ahead and just went ahead and applied my lashes. Again, you want to make sure that you're looking down into a mirror to apply your lashes below your chin. That's an easier way to do it. And it does take a little practice, but you can do it. I know you can do it. Um, so I just applied my lashes here and I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you what colors that I used in each area. So I use color number 17 in the crease area that was the transition color that i used for this look then i went in with color number 43 on the lid first then i went in with color number 52 which is a foil over that purple so this is a deep purple valentine's look and then i went in with the black right there on the inner corner um and smoked it out towards the out of my eye and lifting up but i was very upset but i'm like you know what it's okay, the other two videos will be able to show you. And once you look at those, this will be a little bit easier to understand. So here right now, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation all over. I am using brush number 18 in a lot of these videos for this tutorial, just because it's my favorite right now. And applying that foundation all over the face. When you apply your foundation, you do wanna make sure that it is not too concentrated in areas and you just want a smoother complexion, right? So if you have some darker areas that you're working on, use the concealer first and then apply the foundation or try to see if you like how it looks with the foundation and it being built up in that area. It is very buildable um, and customizable for your skin, but it does look like skin regardless of how many layers you have. Now I'm using the concealer on the inner corner of my eye and on the outer corner of my eye. It's my favorite technique to give that uplifted eye look. And I'm giving you that wing look without using the black liner wing, if that makes sense. So this was my favorite way of doing it for this look because I liked how um, it looks on and it looks on your eyes. <laughs> um, I did apply eyeliner before that's when I realized that I wasn't recording but I'm taking this foundation brush and just making sure that the concealer is nice and blended underneath the eye and you just blend 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 and like I said I like the foundation brush to blend underneath and also the buffer brush too but here I'm using the foundation brush to make sure it gets nice and blended underneath the eye. And you're going to tap in those areas that you want to cover that are darker and then almost like a sweeper motion to blend in with the rest of your foundation. So pretty. Again, just making sure it's blended with that foundation brush. It mimics the finger to me and I like how it looks. All right, now I'm using lipstick number 113 as a contour color. Um, and you make sure that you're going at an angle right at the top of your ear on down. And I will do a separate tutorial on what contouring is, but I'm doing it on my forehead a little bit and on my chin. Next, you're going to see me apply the concealer down the bridge of my nose and a little bit in between my brows. This is going to highlight. So whatever area you highlight, you're bringing forward. And any areas that you apply that lipstick, you're going to give like a contour color or you're bringing it in. OK, so the prominent areas are where you see me applying the concealer. And then I am blending that again. When you are blending, you want to make sure you blend up. And not down because it can get muddy. And when I say muddy, I'm just saying it's mixing the colors and it's not very distinct. But it's also not blended. There's a difference. So right here, you're going to see me blending that color in with that buffer, that small buffer brush with the darker areas first. And then I go into the lighter areas and make sure that it's nice and blended and highlighted. This makes it really pretty and I put it on the chin as well. So I'm just using that, to, that buffer brush to blend it out. And again, you see me right here applying a little bit more lipstick. I want you to practice this as well. If you need to add some more, don't be afraid. It's always easier to add versus taking it away. So just blending it out, making sure it's nice and pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and with my 
powder. So this is powder. Oh, no, this is my blush. Sorry. This is blush number. Uh, not blush number. It is like a blush color in pop. Um, It's a really pretty pink. It can scare you when you see it in the pan. But, y'all, it is beautiful on. The Remember, less is more when you're applying this. And when I do my cheeks or my blush, I smile and you get the fats of your cheeks. That's where you want to concentrate the blush on, right there on the apples of your cheeks. And then blend upwards towards your hairline. So you just tap in, tap in. Going in with number seven, you can see if you've watched all three videos, you see that I do different techniques in each one. And this is so important. You have to find what technique you enjoy and it could totally switch, but try them out and see. I love using the HD powder in number seven underneath my eye because it does have pigment, but it's almost like a filter in a pan. It just really, really helps blend those colors together and it's not going to settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. Now I'm taking the eyeshadow color 22 and concentrating that right on the inner corner. Y'all, I love this, how this look came out like this purple. And my purple sweatshirt was fire. But even when I took the purple sweatshirt off, it is really, really pretty. And then going in with my eyeliner pen, it is waterproof. And one side is purple. The other side is gold. So you could even use the gold on the inner corner of your eyes as well. So I'm just lining right underneath the eye with that purple color to seal it and blend it all together. And then I used the color... Uh-oh. What color was that? I oh, drew a blank really, really fast. Berry Cocoa. Sorry. Used Berry Cocoa um, to line my lips for this look. And then you're going to see this beautiful gloss called Smile, y'all. And it just sets off the entire look. It's just fire. Look how beautiful that is. Ah, so pretty. So I applied Smile over that Berry Cocoa Enduring Lip Color. So many different variations of this look that you can go with, but I love how that looks. Again, cleaning that up, making sure it is nice and blended. And y'all, I love how this look turned out. A bold eye with a bold complimenting lip. 